Peterson Peterson Electric Part 2 of the LED fluorescent install in this gentleman's closet. So right now, guys, I'm getting between 82 to 87 lumens on this LED light fixture. Uh, this thing took me about 10 minutes to rewire. Not a big deal. I went ahead and gutted out the ballast. As you can see, now it's directly wired to the bulbs. Um, and there is a few secrets about it that I'm not going to quite share just because it's taken me so long to read and sell my products. But um, bottom line, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, you do have to do it correctly, otherwise you can blow up the bulb or you can actually cause a fire. Anyway, so right now we're getting about 83, so we're probably about 17% less what it seems like light as far as the lumens. Over here I'm getting about 13 to 14. So the thing about LED that's amazing is that when you put it in, there's a thing called deprivation, and that means like how long does something last before it dies. So a lot of people pride themselves in getting a car and they say, hey, it's really great, look how cheap I got it, and it's a really neat looking car. Um, maybe it's got all the bells and whistles you want, but the thing is is that really, if you're buying a product last, then you're gonna have to look at the life of it. So if we, we accumulate that in a boat, as in um, how many hours it's ran, or in a vehicle, how many miles. And lighting is considered burn hours, so how many hours has it burned? But also, not only has it burned, how has it been the quality of the deprivation? So like a T12, when you first put them in, they're great, they're super bright, and they last maybe about a year like that. It depends though how many times you strike it. The more you strike a fluorescent, the cathode and the diode, I believe is what they call them, they actually start to wear out. Because what it's doing is it's completely creating a dead short with the gas in here. And that mercury excites and starts to glow. So when you hit these and break them, it, it kind of it has a little bit of an explosion to them. The thing about LED that's so great about them is that as they last for 50,000 to 25,000 burn hours, they're not going to peak down and climb really high, really bright, and then go down. Then all of a sudden start getting really pink and yellow, and then they get black on the ends. That's because it's telling you it's about to die. And it only lasted typically between one year to two years max on a, a T12. So you have to keep what we call relamping them. This thing is what's so nice about it, it's a relamp. You don't have to relamp it. And this product I got him has a 50,000 burn hour. So if he left this on for an average of three nights or three hours every day to get dressed and undressed, and he left it on in an accident as he's taking a shower, and he did it every day, Monday through Sunday, and he did that for 27 years, that's how long it would take for that bulb to die. So even if you did it for 10 hours and you left that light on in that area where you're homeschooling or doing whatever you're doing in that area, you're still going to get typically about 10 times less relamping than that. And if you want to know the cost, what's so nice about these LEDs is these LEDs in the past used to cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of about $110 to actually purchase. Now I can sell these typically somewhere around 60 bucks. And so it depends on how the quantity and how far away you live and things of that nature and, and what we're using the purpose of. But this is 120 volts. This is for a home or a business at 120 volt. This is a standard LED product. This actually has a ballast that's designed inside of the bulb. 